the 2013-14 Leesman World Cup bobsleigh tour started in Calgary for women's bob. And as expected, the world champion, Kaylee Humphreys, she's got a break from back, Heather Moyson teamed up with her at the gold medal in the 2010 Winter Games in Vancouver. Humping her off, and Humphreys looked like she was in mid-season form, winning on her home track in Calgary. World record for Canada, 56 Humphreys and Moyce, Myers and Grubel of the United States in second and third. Now they move south to the Olympic track in above Salt Lake City and Park City, and Alana Myers and Aja Evans. Clean ride all the way down the track. Great starts by Myers, and she wins going away. In fact, her whole team wins going away. The United States women's team goes one, two, three. Myers, Humphreys, and Grubel walk away with the medals in Park City in the second women's Bob event of the season. World Cup number three was also in Park City in a snowstorm. No difference though for Alana Myers and Aja Evans. They came out with the best starts on the bottom part of the track. Wasn't the speeds of the first race because of the snow. But Myers and Evans again post the best times. Grubel and Fenelator and the USA for the second race in a row sweep the podium in Park City. Now they move 2,000 miles east to Lake Class in New York. Kelly Humphreys, Heather Moist, they decide that it's enough of the American sweeps it on the American home track in Lake Placid. Humphreys, who won the world championships on this track in 2012, she posts the best time in both runs. She walks away with the gold medal. Myers and Grubel of the United States in the second and third positions. Now the break after Christmas, they move to Winterberg, Germany. Listen to the German crowd for the veteran pilot, Sandra Kyriasis. Kyriasis, good place into the first run. She'd post the time. She'd get into the leader's box. She'd have to wait for a few more sleds to go before she decided who was the gold medalist, but the Germans knew that was a good run. Kyriasis, though, wins by one hundredth of a second over a lot of Myers. Schneider Hounds, her teammate, their first medal of the year. The veteran Sandra Kyriasis with her first medal of the season. Now they move to the Olympic track in San Moritz. Kaylee Humphreys, Heather Moist. Humphreys won the world championships on this track last year. But she was in 10th place at the end of the first run. Unbelievably, she comes from 10th all the way to first. Kaylee Humphreys has one of the best comebacks in the history of women's bobsledding. She claims the gold medal over Martini and Meyer of Switzerland, where she wins her first medal of the season for Switzerland. And now they move to the track in Innsbruck, Austria. Javier Grubel of the United States. She was in first in Winterberg and fell the fourth. She was in second in St. Moritz and fell the fourth. But on this day, Grubel, she holds the lead and wins going away her first ever gold medal in women's bobsledding for the American Jamie Grubel. Also for Lauren Williams, her first ever gold medal. A lot of Myers and Aja Evans in second. But it was Grubel and Eagles with their first ever gold. Now they move to the final race in Koenigsee, Germany. Meyer and Meyer, Fabian Meyer. This is the European Championships. She had never won more than a bronze medal in her career. Ranked 10th, 11th, the World Cup points. But on this day, like all the other Swiss sleds on this track, she flew in both runs. She wins. Not only the European Championship gold, she wins the World Cup event gold. Her first ever gold in the sport. Alana Myers for the second week in a row is second. And Kaylee Humphreys, the Olympic champion with Heather Moyes, they win the bronze. But Humphreys retains the World Cup title, look at that, by one point over Alana Myers in the closeness of all the FIPT disciplines.